Thank you, Mr. Prime Minister. I'm a uh, federal correctional officer, and I'm very proud of working in the public service, as are a lot of people in this city, as I'm sure. But with all due respect, the Phoenix debacle has gone on too long. Mm -hmm. It's not fair. We are being told that it could take up to three years to fix this problem. And no offense, that's not acceptable. It's not. If a private corporation was doing this on the scale that this is happening, the government would have taken action by now. This is just not right. And I'm asking you here today, is it possible here and now for you to say, can we just put Phoenix aside, put back the old system for now until we can get this working? Mm. Because there's tens of thousands of people that are sitting there, owe tens of thousands of dollars. There are families that are losing their homes over this. Yeah. Uh, listen, thank you. Thank you very much for that question. And I know, I, uh, let me say, I entirely agree with you. It is absolutely unacceptable that this has happened. Uh, uh, anyone, but particularly uh, public servants who are not getting paid what they are owed uh, in a responsible and rapid way is, is unacceptable and it's not the way uh, we want to function as a government. Uh, and the question you had, can we just go back to the old system, uh, is a question that I actually had early on. Uh, the problem is there was no old system. There was uh, nothing but an, a very ad hoc way of proceeding on things uh, that was uh, scattered around through the massive bureaucracies of the federal government. Uh, and the Phoenix system was brought forward as a way of actually uh, responding in a better way to something that was extremely uneven across the country. Uh, there were problems around the actual transition. Uh, there were people laid off too early in the process that weren't able to train up going through. And uh, I'll admit it, this government, uh, in everything we were doing in the first months, uh, didn't pay proper attention to uh, the real, or didn't pay enough attention uh, to the challenges and to the, the, the warning signs that were coming uh, on the transition that we were overseeing. Uh, we are working extremely hard uh, to try and fix this. We're down to, uh, I think, uh, 8,000 cases that are, are still uh, 8,000 cases too many. Uh, there are, continue to be people who are, who are uh, suffering, and we are uh, highlighting how important it is to do it. And I can, if I can give a, a brief uh, shout out, uh, Mark Gerritsen has been one of the voices in our caucus because of uh, all of you uh, putting, uh, uh, putting your faith in him and your trust in him uh, to step forward and keep pushing us to, to get the situation solved. Uh, and we're going to continue to work very hard on it, and we will make sure uh, that we settle this challenge. Thank you very much for your question.